the name is the primogen, but this name doesn't make any sense to me at all. Okay, I'm 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 genuinely confused at what the heck I'm even looking at. So let's do this. Well, okay. You take great care when you're buying an app to make sure it's good and it's not going to ruin your machine and does exactly what you want. HTML is the ultimate example of what you troubles you get into if you are promiscuous, right? And you are promiscuous, why? Because part of what HTML does is you have to visit other people's websites and you have to execute, not your code that you wrote, other people's code. What the hell are we watching? Kind of excited. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little excited about this, okay? I'm a little excited about this, okay? I'm, I'm ready to get promiscuous, boys. That's a weird phrase to say. Okay. HTML, it's an interpreted system. The customers want instant gratification and you've got to get cracking. Speed is of the essence. I think the nub of what we're trying to get at is this. HTML seems to be able to tolerate your mistakes. But for those of you who know a programming Until you accidentally forget a closing tag and then it just it all up the whole nine yards okay okay you know this whole tolerant business you know once you start intermixing html with css and inline styles then it gets even worse then the whole universe is the worst the amount of hours i have spent trying to make something happen has clear fix clear fix is the the devil okay if you don't know if you don't know who clear fix is okay are you even a senior engineer probably not you don't even know what clear fix is so guess what language basic c or whatever you know they will not tolerate your mistakes they won't interpret it for you they won't compile a program for you unless it's correct so how does this difference come about if html is a language it's getting executed what is it about it that makes it easy to be tolerant mm. and on the face of it yes it's wonderful it seems to put my errors right perhaps we could start off with our good old friend the paragraph p and i'm going to just put a piece of text in here which says hello sean even though i absolutely don't have to do it nevertheless i'm going to do it i'm going to close off the paragraph and then i'm you know i don't know who decided that sean should be spelt s-e-a-n but I do feel that's truly when the English language went to hell, okay? That's truly where it all went downhill, okay? Is at that point, if we could just trace it back, that that's how you spell Sean. Whoever's responsible of that just needs a slap, okay? It's, it's not true. And second off, I would just like to let you know that computer file has some big P energy. P tag energy right there, okay? Very impressed right now. That's a pretty big P tag. I'm going to open up another one straight away afterwards. Goodbye, Dave. And once again, we close off. By the, the way, is this college or something? Why are we writing code on paper? Okay, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting college vibes all of a sudden. I'm back in school, just about to take a test. Okay, I don't like this. P. You'll all understand that this is a classic use of paragraphs. You put them in sequence. You have first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph, all that kind of thing. Does it mean anything? And does it look any different? And does it do any different? If I start messing about and saying, I'm not going to sequence them. I'm going to fit the second paragraph inside the first. Oh, by the way, you're welcome on the screen, Terry. Okay? I still haven't switched to sway. So you can sway your mouth towards these nuts, okay? So it's nested, as we say. It forms a hierarchy. It's a para within a para. You can see the difference. I've opened up a paragraph. I've said, hello, Sean. I've then opened up another paragraph. And I've said, this is an S, just to hammer it home, that the inner one really is fitting inside the outer one. And then I dutifully close them both off. You might think, oh, I know what it'll do. I might get, hello, Sean. And then the phrase, this is a nest, will be tabbed in and indented. Maybe that's what it does. So I think it actually puts a space, right? Paragraph like an unaltered P tag has a margin. Is that what it is? Did I get that correct? Uh, I think that's right. I think an unaltered P tag has a bit of a vertical spacing associated with it. It's a block element. Yep. Yeah. Margin plus display block. Yep. That's right. Boom. Got it. First try. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I'm an HTML programmer. Okay, I have 20 years HTML programming experience. What do you have? You got nothing. Okay, you have nothing. Okay, you could barely distinguish a P tag because it's so amazing compared to like your standard div. You don't even know. I've tried this out in my own Firefox browser, and believe you me, it doesn't crash it. It just treats it exactly as if it was sequential paragraphs. There's no sign of the nesting or anything. So if we develop these a little Is bit further Is that true? I thought there was vertical we spacing. We could say, okay, do the P. Hello, Sean. Do Always do the P. Do another P. Goodbye, Dave. So you're omitting the closing bit. Is that right? I'm omitting the closing of the paragraphs. Yeah, you that can do that. You can do that, yeah. To HTML? Yes, it is. Nothing's going to fault you for missing out end of P. And that, if you type that in, will look the same as that. It but technically, it looks the same until beyond that. Right? Once you stop messing with the P, then everything gets all screwed up. Right? Then beyond that, that's where everything gets all crazy. And so it is fair, though. It is pretty impressive that you can just send this down as a document and it renders no different than, you know, the other ones, right? That is really impressive that you can do that, that you can you can let these streams cross and they're both the same. It's just that any content beyond that, it gets all garbly. But it is, it's really impressive in, that that, I mean, that actually, actually does end correctly. It does, but what's its rule? And here we go. It probably won't do what you want to do. It does what it finds convenient. And what it finds convenient is the following rule. It says, I am going to assume if you give me a second P and I'm already inside the first one, I'll just close the first one off. How would the browser cope if I sometimes put my... No way. It doesn't do that, does it? There's no way I believe that. I don't think it closes it off, right? I'm quite po... I bet you... I mean, we could technically figure it out. We could figure that out. Yes, it does? No. No... No, no way. Dang it. I'm going to add a little extra margin here. Uh, margin uh, 10 pixel, right? And uh, background color, I think we'll go. There we go. We'll do that and go over to the F and go zero, zero, uh, RF, RF. There we go. Let's try, let's try that. Boom. That's it. That's all we're doing. Uh, file colon, 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 uh, home. I mean, if you close one P, just one P. Really? I mean, if you close two P's, you can't, you can't nest P's. <gasps> you can't nest P's. Oh yeah. Yeah. Padding. You're, you're right. I, I mean, I could do, I could technically do padding. Because this is definitely, that that's nested. You can't nest the peas. This whole time I thought you could, you could nest, you could touch. You can't nest peas. Damn. I guess you need 21 years of experience doing HTML. And peas in and sometimes didn't. And the answer is it will always, as far as I know, assume that you want a sequence and that is what it will impose on you. What it comes down to is a, a sort of informal... I hate the web sometimes! ...theorem, something like the following. If you're trying to be very clever and mend somebody's incorrect program, then the problem is that if you have a structure that can be a sequence of, or it can be a nest of, or it can be any combination. You could have a sequence of nests or a nest of sequences. But if you once start saying they can both coexist, nesting, uh, sequencing, 
then you must put your end tags in if you want to be unambiguous. Otherwise, how can it be repaired? So in other words, if, they, if both possibilities are possible, then you can't have smart behavior because it cannot know how to repair it correctly. And what HTML is doing is it's not solving the in insoluble. It's saying I have one view of the world and I'm going to impose it on you and I am not going to try and be clever. I am flabbergasted right now. Now that, of course, is a luxury that HTML has. It basically says, I keep things simple. I like things to be more or less sequential with the minimum of this embedding, you know, and all that. And that's why it can get away with murder. Now, for those of you who've ever written a program and know... I didn't know that about the piece! Even you interpret it. Oh boy, it's not going to try and mend your bad program for you. I what? didn't know it! <sighs> Where are you? Where, where, where did I put this thing in? Where did I do this in? Right, okay, that does it. That still does it. Ah! You can't nest the peas. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know about that. The little pea, the pea nesting thing. Okay? Why is it that things are so much more complicated? Well, the answer is, you can do more Why with these languages, and, and you will want to do more. Let me just invent a little piece of pseudocode, and I'll let you fill this in, in either basic or C or Java or whatever terms you want. Printf. I love you Brits and your Javers, okay? Who puts an R on the end of that? Who does that? Who just throws an R in willy-nilly, okay? You always tell, you're always highbrowing us about how you speak the, the, the Queen's English, and then you just throw an R in there. Come on. Hello, sure. You're like, come on. Born. And C programmers will know that if you want a new line at the end of that, which you do, you better put a backslash N at the end. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, yeah. going round the stuff inside this block, which is a very simple block. It's just got a single print statement in it. So what we'll get is, hello, John, hello, John, hello, John, hello, John, 10 times. Then I do another loop that goes around 10 oh, times. Oh, that screen tearing is looking so good right Goodbye, now. Dave, new line, close quotes, semicolon. Let's hope this really would compile. <laughs> You can all see what's going to happen. When you execute this, I'm going to get hello, John, hello, John, hello, John, hello, John, ten times. Then goodbye, Dave, goodbye, Dave, goodbye, Dave, goodbye, Dave, ten times. So that is what happens when you have a sequence of blocks. Yeah. But yeah. by comparison with paragraph in HTML, can you, in programming languages, have nested blocks? You bet you can. Now, bet your sweet ass. Say, you loop can. around ten times on the following printf, hello, John. Yeah. yeah. But now look at what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Not going to close off. That block. Yeah. I'm going to nest another loop block inside it. Goodbye, Dave. Now let's make sure our brackets match. I've opened up one, I've opened up two, I've closed this one, I must close that one. I hope squared you algorithm see right and here. understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to do a loop within a loop. They're nested like sort of squared. dolls, one inside the other. But the effect of this is completely different to the one I did previously. Here what's going to happen is the outermost one goes around ten times, and every time it goes around it, it does a hello, Sean. But every time it does a hello, Sean, it then goes into a nested inner loop that does 10 goodbye Daves. So for every one hello... I love computer file, by the way. Fantastic. Beautiful. Love all of this. It's actually, it's actually O of 1, because if you really think about it, it's actually, it, 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 there's no based on input, so there actually is no scaling factor to it. So it's actually a constant 100, which we all know constants get reduced down to 1. You actually drop constants, and when there's nothing left, you just put 1 in there. Come on. <laughs> Shut up! Hello, Sean, I print out. I'm now getting 10. Goodbye, Daves. Net result, I will end up with a hundred goodbye, Daves, interleaved between ten I'm hello, Sean's. <laughs> Whereas in the earlier case, I had twenty printouts. I had ten hello, Sean's, followed by ten goodbye, Daves. Lots 100. of students have said to me over the years, "That's one." I just the C the compiler is so clever. Why can't it put my programs right for me? And the answer is, if you omit your end tags, how can it know whether you want this one or this one? They're both equally valid. This th They both equally ignore the fact that white space makes programs more legible, too. Where's your indenting, sir? Then is the absolute fundamental conundrum. Can you unambiguously video. put back the closed curly braces if users omit them? No, you can't, because you've got to work out. Do they want a 
sequence, a nest, a nest of sequences. There's all sorts of places to put back the brackets, and they have all sorts of different effects. And I, I would say that the only sane answer is the one that that the web didn't do. I think that the only sane answer is that you have to nest it. This idea that you don't nest it makes no sense. Right? The fact that you run it serially makes no sense. That's, that, that's, a, that's a completely unintelligible approach to this problem. I totally get that if you don't put a closing thing, then everything else just goes right inside your PP. But instead, the PP is serial. It doesn't make any sense. Why? 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 Why would you do that with just P but not the D? Okay? The D doesn't do it. The D wants it nested. Why choose two different resolution steps? I hate this. I hate my life. I hate this. I hate my... I hate it. Okay, I hate it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna press subscribe on my alternate account. I'm gonna get the video a like, and that's that, okay? I can't even emotionally handle this any longer, and I'm also two minutes late to my meeting, okay? So I gotta go, okay? Uh, you know what? The name is the latogen, okay? I gotta go! <laughs>